Baldhead Island is a quaint island just off the coast of southeastern North Carolina, home to just under 200 people, but thanks to the pandemic, this number is growing. In years past, the island was busiest during the summer, the island's on season, when vacationers and tourists would come to visit. However, residents and business owners on the island have noticed a shift in people's behavior when it comes to visiting or deciding to reside on the island. Kristen Henson, a resident of Baldhead Island, talked about the shift to an all-year on-season and how it has affected businesses. We don't have an off-season anymore. We had the summers where we're used to it being crazy busy, but then we expect to have the fall and winter where we get to recoup a little bit, but they didn't really get that break. The pandemic has affected everyone globally by creating another source of stress, which can have a great impact on the way we interact with each other. Steve Henson, the owner of a construction company on the island, mentioned how the coronavirus has affected the behaviors of his customers when it comes to building new homes on the island or conducting renovations. For the construction business, and for my business in particular on the island, the largest challenge we've had from the pandemic has been keeping our customers in a happy, appreciative excited state of mind. Perhaps the most heavily influenced sector of the island as a result of the pandemic has been the real estate market, as more and more people choose to move to the island to escape dense cities where the coronavirus is booming. Chris Webb, a realtor on the island, noted the many reasons why people have made the decision and why Baldhead Island has been so popular as of late. People are also looking for different types of homes with different spaces that include home offices or spaces where children can do their remote schoolwork and also be outside, enjoy nature, and not have to wear a mask 24 hours a day. As it enters the winter season, it will be interesting to see how the island prepares for the summer and if the tourism and construction industries will continue to flourish.